Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a building uh, in Holland which is kind of interesting but it, I think it needs to be lightened up a little bit because it's in the shade. And we're going to start off, I'm going to go to here and hit Control J, um, turn off the top layer because I'm just going to do on the bottom layer. I'm going to use a kind of traditional method which is to use curves. So I click on the adjustments, I go to curves and say let's Turn at the brightness so the building is nice and light here, but look the sky up there, that's a bit too bright. So what I can do with that is pull down the top here. So I'm turning down the lightness, so I've taken that back to what it was, but now the building's gone a bit washy. Um, and if I play with this, it, I just can't get it to be about, oops, right. So I'm going to turn that off and use that as comparison later. I'm going to go to the top layer, turn that on, and I'm going to use Dave's Partial TST Macros, which are in the library here, and you can get them via the link down below. And all you do is, if you to import it, you click on here, Import Macros, and they'll turn up here. So, what I can do is simply hit the Partial Shade Control, and this puts an extra layer above here, and if I double click the white square there, it brings me up a controller here. And I can turn the shade controls up here, for example. But this is just kind of darkening the building. I want it to go the other way. And if I click on this one up here fully, I see I've got multiply up here. I want to change that to screen because multiply darkens, screen lightens. So let's start that again. Now if I turn this up, now I'm going to get a lighter image. But notice the sky here is not affected at all. And I can turn that as far as I go. And if I want to make it quite bright, I can go all the way up and I'm not damaging anything. Often controls, you get to the end and it's, it's, it's terrible. But that's fine. I can also bring up the hardness here. I don't want to go all the way because then it does go strange at the top. But up here... It, it, until I, it seems okay. So just keep your eye on it. But that looks okay, doesn't it? Now then, let's click on the top one, shift click the bottom one there, and hit Control G just to put that in a group so I can turn it on and off. So here's the bottom one again. I've turned this on. So if I turn this off now, that was the one with curves. And this is the one using the TST macro. You can see this, they're, they're not hugely different, but this one is much better. Look at the sky, look at the blue up here, for example. So that's the one with curves, and that's the one with the sky. So to do with curves, you'd have to get into masking and so on, and it would be a lot messier, but this is dead easy. You can see how quick it is. And you can always go back and do more control of that. Just with these here, you can play around till the way you want it is just how you like and it's very very easy and that's what the macros intend to do is make your life easier that's it and thank you very much for watching